Welcome back everyone, it's good to see you again. When was the last time I uploaded a video? Wow, it's been a while. I got caught up in traveling and seeing family over the holidays. And you know that really annoying thing when airports lose your luggage? Well, that sorta happened to me, and my drawing tablet was in there. Luckily, they found it, but it did get crushed and broke my display screen. So I couldn't make art for you guys, until I bought a brand new drawing tablet. This is what I've been using to draw my art with, and I absolutely love it. It's a new Huion Tablet Canvas 24 series. It has a 24 inch screen combined with the QHD resolution and 120% sRGB color gamut to give you the perfect visual experience when it comes to your art. My favorite is the battery free pen which honestly provides you with better stability and support 60 degree tilt function and 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity bringing you a totally realistic drawing experience. They are currently having a special sale right now to get that for that special someone unless you're a lonely depressed artist like me. <laughs> Be your own special someone and make yourself happy. Click on the link in the description to get access to the sale for your new drawing tablet. Alright, let's get into the video. During those three months, I've been cooking something good for you. No, not a holiday feast. And although that does sound amazing right now, but in today's video, I'll be doing something new. I'm more than happy to welcome you to my fan-made region, the Kanata region. If you haven't already guessed, it's surprisingly based on Canada. <laughs> I know it's a simple name, but it would be more recognizable to the audience and sort of give you an idea of what kind of Pokemon to expect. Also, the word Canada likely comes from the Huron Iroquois word Kanata with a K, which translates to settlement or village. In 1535, explorer Jacques Cartier asked two aboriginal youth to get to the village of Stadacona, which was the site of the present day, Quebec. Cartier was in use Canada to describe the village and entire area controlled by its chief. Donacona, the name soon to be applied to larger areas across the map when explorers and fur traders traveled to the west and south. It wasn't until 1791 when Canada became the official name of the country when the province of Quebec was divided into two separate colonies. Now that you're an official Canadian, grab your hockey sticks, get your fur coats on, and let's meet the first Pokemon of Canada. The beaver is a fascinating creature that has played an important role in Canadian history and culture. From the beaver's role in the fur trade and its significance in the Native American culture to its spiritual representation and its place of the Canadian nickel. We're going to explore all aspects of the beaver and how I use those characteristics to create the grass starter. So sit back, relax, and join us as we discover the beaver's enduring legacy. Deep in the heart of North American forests, rivers, and streams lives a remarkable creature known as the beaver. These large semi-aquatic rodents are not only fascinating to observe, but also play a huge role in shaping the landscape around them. Beavers are known for their impressive engineering skills, using branches, twigs, and muds to build dams, canals, and even lodges. These structures not only provide a safe and comfortable home for the beaver families, but also create wetlands that this provides vital habitats for a diverse array of plants and even animals. This is why beavers are considered a keystone species. Their impact on the environment is so far reaching and profound. Their unique abilities have such a positive impact on the ecosystem. Beavers are herbivores, feasting on a diet of bark, leaves, and aquatic plants. Adult beavers can weigh between 40 and 60 pounds, and they can grow up to 4 feet long. They have thick, dark brown fur and webbed hind feet, which makes them perfectly adapted for the aquatic lifestyle. But beavers are more than just builders and foragers, they also are social animals. Beavers live in a family of group consisting of a monogamous pair and their offspring. They are active mostly at night and spend their days restfully in their lodges. If you are lucky enough to spot a beaver in the wild, take a moment to appreciate the incredible work they do and the critical role they play in shaping the environment around us. These fascinating creatures are truly one of nature's marvels. Pokédex Entry It loves to play outside and build small forts out of sticks. BV are very active and social and would make a great adventure buddy. Will you choose BV?
Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your bell notifications to keep you up to date with future videos. Many tribes held the belief that beavers possessed the power to control water, and as a result, they were seen as protectors of the communities during the times of drought. The beavers' ability to build dams and lodges was, was an inspiration to many, and as a metaphor for importance of creating a stable and secure home. The beaver was also seen as a symbol of wealth and prosperity in many Native American cultures. Beaver pelts were highly valued and were often used in ceremonies and rituals. In some tribes, the possession of a beaver pelt was a sign of prestige and status. Why was beaver fur so important to Canada? In the 18th and 19th century, the beaver fur trade was a booming industry in Canada. The soft, thick fur of the beaver was highly sought after by European and Asian merchants for use in making fashionable hats, coats, and other clothing items. The quality and durability of the beaver fur made it a premium material and it was highly valued by customers. This demand for beaver fur had a profound impact on the Canadian economy as the trade in beaver pelts helped to spur the growth of many Canadian cities. Fur trade posts and forts were established across the country and these settlements were often the first European settlements in the region. The beaver and fur trade also caused a significant role in the exploration and colonization of Canada as traders and trappers pushed further and further into the wilderness in search for new fur sources. The beaver fur trade also had an impact on the indigenous peoples of Canada as they played a significant role in the trade by trapping and trading furs. The trade helped to support many indigenous communities but it also had a negative consequences such as displacement of the indigenous people from their traditional lands. Pokédex Entry Sauver love to do it yourself projects with their trainers. These Pokemon are hard workers and won't sleep until the job is finished. So what's the theme of my starters? Well, a part of my inspiration is based on Canadian coins such as the nickel, quarter, and dime. The Canadian nickel is a coin that holds a rich history and cultural significance. Produced by the Royal Canadian Mint, these coins are composed of a durable combination of 75% copper and 25% nickel. The nickel was first minted in 1922 and for over a century, it has featured an iconic image of a beaver on its reverse side. The beaver, known for its strong work ethic and resourcefulness, has also long been a symbol of Canadians' identity and history. It was a key factor in the early development of the country as the beaver pelt trade played a crucial role in the economic growth of New France and early Canada. The image of the beaver on the Canadian nickel is a nod to the important part of the Canadian history and culture. In addition to its historical and cultural significance, the Canadian nickel is also a popular collector's item. Coin collectors around the world often seek out these nickels for their unique design, historical background, and overall rarity. The beaver on the images on the reverse side of the coin only adds to its collectability and desirability among coin enthusiasts. My main inspiration is the beaver people of Canada, the Danza. They're an indigenous group of people who lived in in the traditional territories around the Peace River in Alberta and British Columbia. They were renowned for their hunting, fishing, and trapping skills. They also had a deep spiritual connection to the beaver and believed that the animal was a powerful spirit that could bring good luck and prosperity to the tribe. The Denza relied heavily on the beaver for food and used beaver pellets in ceremonies, considering them a symbol of wealth and prosperity. They even used the beaver's dam building skills as a metaphor to build strong communities and homes. Unfortunately, the Denza people were heavily impacted by the beaver fur trade and the arrival of European settlers in the territory. Many of them were forced to leave their traditional lands and their way of life was greatly altered. Today, the Danza people are part of the Anishiwabwe people and also known as the Ojibwe and were still strong cultural and spiritual connections to the beaver. It's fascinating how you think that one animal has played such a significant role in the lives of the Danza people. What do beavers represent spiritually? The beaver holds a special place in the hearts of many Native American cultures. Its powerful symbolism and hard work, determination, resourcefulness, wealth, and prosperity make it a respectable animal that continues to inspire further generations. The animal's ability to work timelessly to build its home and provides for its family has been seen as a symbol of self-sufficiency and independence. This admirable trait was also often used as a guide for one how one should live their own life. In addition, their role in creating and maintaining a balanced life environment, beavers remind us that the importance of protecting and preserving our natural resources. All these characteristics make a beaver a powerful symbol of spiritual significance, especially on totem poles. In the rich cultural traditions of the specific Northwest Native American tribes, the beaver is 
often depicted on totem poles. The beaver is seen as a powerful and respected animal embodying the qualities of strength, determination, and resourcefulness. Beyond its physical attributes, the beaver also holds deep symbolic meaning in these communities. It is seen as a symbol of the importance of family, community, representing the bonds that hold people together and the importance of cooperating to achieve common goals. In addition to this, the beaver is also considered a symbol of protection. A beaver totem pole is believed to offer protection to the community, guarding against harm, ensuring the safety and well-being of all who live there. Thus, when you see the beaver on a totem pole, it is not just a decorative element. It symbolizes the importance of strength, determination, resourcefulness, family, community, and protection. It serves as a reminder of the values that are held dear by these cultures and of the importance of passing them on to further generations. So, I wanted to design a Pokemon that was big and scary, but also a soft giant that would always protect you from any harm. Timboldan. It's a name that comes from multiple terms such as Timber, Emolden, Molden Steel, Bold, and Dane, which is from the Beaver people. The name Timboldan does a great job of conveying its grass and steel components while representing its leadership qualities of the Aboriginal background. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the enduring legacy of the Beaver. Hope you learned something new and gained a deeper appreciation by this fascinating creature. From its role in shaping the landscape and its importance of the Native American culture, to its symbolism of hard work, resourcefulness, and the Beaver truly is a symbol of prosperity and determination. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more Canadian Fakemon and informative videos.